So just a cheapy uh, Chinese, it's not even branded, and we're having issues with software. These are notoriously bad for crashing and everything. This one actually has a reset button here on the back, but it's pretty useless, it doesn't do anything. Um, it's stuck in a boot loop, so it just keeps going around in circles. We've got a couple of options. What we can do is it's usually a combination of the three buttons and maybe the home button if you have one. This hasn't got a home button, so it'll just be a combination of these three buttons on top. Um, it's usually to get it into uh, recovery mode. You're usually going to be hitting either the volume down and the power button or the volume up and the power button. In some cases, it's volume down, volume up, and the power button. Um, if you've got a home button there as well, you're going to have to mix that in as well and just try as many combinations as you can. Um, you're going to get some of them as well that if you hold the power down, power up, and hold the power button, nothing will happen. If you tap the power button, um, it seems to work. Some of them, again, what you're going to have to do is hold down um, the down volume, and or the up volume and hit the power button and hold it even throughout the boot when it comes up with that boot screen that it's, it's loading um, and keep holding the two of them with this one um, what I actually have to do is once uh, the boot screen comes up I have to release the power button and keep holding the volume up button so just to just to show you that really quick uh, we're going to hold the power up or the volume up sorry and we're going to hit the power button at the same time. And once the boot screen comes up here, I'm going to let go of the power button and keep holding the volume up. That will bring me to... Hopefully, it'll bring me to this screen. Um, once you get this logo, you're pretty much home set. So what you'll do is a combination of the three buttons again, usually the power button will give you an enter command and the volume up and volume down will give you um, the corresponding uh, up and down in through your menu. So you can see from this one, it says number one is reboot system now, number two is apply update from ADB, and number three is apply update from SD card, number four is wipe data factory reset, number five is wipe the cache partition and number six is wipe the media partition. Now I've got um, the go ahead from the customer just to, to wipe everything and just to get it recovered. So we are going to go down and we're going to start with number six. If you have any difficulty following this, just go with a factory reset. It usually, that's usually good enough. But with these, I usually start with the media partition, the cache definitely, and then uh, the factory reset just in case one isn't covered. So we're going to do wipe data partition and we pressed the power button to enter that command and as you can see it is doing its thing so the next one is we're going to wipe the cache so again down to five press the power button formatting cache cache wipe complete then finally we're going to do number four, which is wipe data factory set. This may be laid out slightly differently, but it does exactly the same thing. On the next screen, it'll have um, loads of no's and one yes. So it's just it's to confirm you're going to delete all the user data. So we're going to select that. And you can see it running through, running through the code. Bear in mind doing this, you're not going to have any of your photos, your music, anything that you've saved to the device. Once this is done, um, we can reboot. And fingers crossed. Usually on this reboot as well, it could be a bit slower to start up. Um, it's got to load all that software for the first time again. So This should be kind of generic to all these uh, the, the cheaper brand of um, tablets that come out of uh, China so pretty much everyone that I've seen uh, for example any of these guys as well you know this is the Irulu. Um it seems to work on all of them it's usually one of one of the combinations will get you going 
So in real time, you can see it's got the Android logo up there. And we're just waiting for it to boot. So there you go. Uh, just to make sure everything is uh, actually working. See all your apps. Uh, everything seems to be fine. Let's go to the home menu. Yeah, there we go. So everything's back to factory reset. Um, yeah, so pretty much good to go. And just to test that up volume. Is this is the weird thing about these Chinese, um, some of these Chinese brands. The volume rocker works perfectly, but not through the menu that we used beforehand. It wouldn't have been a ma major deal anyway, because we could have uh, done the volume from here. But you would presume it should work in the other menu as well. Anyway, guys, it's good to be back. Stick with me over the next couple of weeks. I'll try and get as many videos as I can. And uh, yeah, first video of 2015.